Brandon Brown, the Terrible and Tigers come on the road and get a victory over South Lafouche tonight. Um, coach, you said that you challenged your team to play hard defensively, and like we were just talking about a second ago, uh, they met that challenge for most of the game. Talk about the way you guys played, man. Uh, we were tenacious out there. We really played together. As you can see, we were one unit. We weren't just five good defenders out there. We moved as a unit, as a, a good teams will do. And if we can put that, do it like that at, at a consistent level, uh, I think we'll be pretty good the rest of the season. I just talked to one of your seniors, um, Maddox scored 29 last night. When he got rolling, boy, it was tough to slow him down, making big shots, getting in the lane. You told us on radio just a second ago that you guys have been seeing that from him all year. It looked like you put it into action tonight. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't consistent throughout the year, but I've seen that in the preseason in the summer that he can uh, take over a game uh, inside and out, slashing, rebounding, passing the ball. He's really a complete player that can uh, work well with Colin. And if we can have uh, uh, every night roll out two studs with him and Colin and with our, our hustle players and our shooters, uh, I think we can be good. Coach, I, we, we got to talk about the guy that was guarding the ball. Was it 21? I mean, 21. so much of what they do is, is Terrence Beecher trying to create and make some things happen. And you guys were making him work so hard just to get it across half court. Um, first off, shout out the name. And then secondly, I mean, that kid played his butt off tonight. Talk about the way he competed. Uh, that number 21 is Kavon Garner. He's uh, one of the starting cornerbacks and safeties with the Turbo and football team. And he's our anchor uh, defensively. He's our own ball guy. He was. Uh, He's our mascot. He is the, the, the lifeline, the bloodline of our team. Where he goes, we go. And, and I, I told you on the radio this morning that uh, you know he's going to accept that challenge with all good guards, and he's going to try to disrupt their system you know, because we are a gaps-type defense. But when he's locked in, it's everybody's denied. And we're uh, putting it on him. And he has no help, and, and he, he accepts that challenge night in and night out. The challenges are going to get stiffer. You guys are playing Shaw in your next game. What are some things you guys are going to be working on? Uh, I mean, just just uh, the level of defense the, uh, we play tonight, just get that consistently and keep up our uh, conditioning. And we can't allow uh, second chance opportunities. You allow second chance opportunities to a team like Shaw, and they're going to beat you by 30. And But I think that after uh, the game against Shaw, I think, uh, I think the people around in this area will see that we can compete uh, with the top teams in the state. You know, I was laughing. You guys had a 35-point lead, and you get the comfortable win. But at the end of the game, you're going to your bookkeeper saying, man, what was the score in the fourth quarter? Coaches are never satisfied, man. What did you tell them at the no, end? It's not that we're not satisfied. You know, it's just that in this day and age, we have people that says, hey, hey, coach, I deserve more minutes. And when you are presented an opportunity, I know it's the end of the game, and it might be a little bit lax, but it's your opportunity to show, hey, coach, this is what you've been missing by not putting me in the game. Yeah. And when things happen like that, it has the opposite effect. You know, and it's going to take a longer time for a coach to trust you at a, a crucial minute. So uh, I hate that I, I wasn't really satisfied at the end because of <laughs> how it ended. But again, I, I, I really, really support my kids. Yeah. And I want to I wanna, uh, uh, win for them. And when they come out and, and see uh, the top eight guys playing their hearts out, it should feed into the uh, the next guys, and, and I didn't like how that ended. So I I, I don't want to be too uh, uh, anal about uh, how it finished, and I know I'm happy with the win, but I really want those guys to win and, and try to crack those that lineup. No, I understand that totally. Very well said. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it.